Hello YouTube and uh, other denizens of uh, our wonderful World Wide Web. Um, recently I've been looking at you know steering behaviors and how they can give us um, emergent behavior and stuff like that. So I thought I'd you know work together a quick project just to you know solidify what I've learned. So this is the project. So let's launch our little ETBT fighters. Alright, so for a start, right, I just have the fighters launch and then have them move in like, you know, somewhat um, random motions around the carrier, you know, so they'll actually evade the carrier when they come too close, well not evade, but yeah, avoid, whatever, um, but if not, right, they'll try to remain in this area, alright, so let's go to the next one, it is some sort of formation flying around the planet, so basically what you have here is the red dot, the red dot is um, the flight leader, and you know around him right there's a few preset positions and uh, the rest of the gray colored dots spaceships whatever um basically lock on and uh move around right and uh the red dot itself is actually orbiting this green planet it's a bit small for a planet either that or this carrier is really really big never mind all right so um Let's go to the next thing. Let's see whether they can do a nice explosion from behind. Vroom. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So now, right, this state, right, is actually uh, all all the little you know ships, right, or whatever, are actually orbiting the planet. And uh, not only are they orbiting, right, they actually actively avoid each other. I've actually set the avoidance radius to be somewhat large, so you can actually see them uh, not come too close before they start to avoid, um, you know, each other. You can see them, right. Alright, done. There's also um, a repulsive force uh, around the green planetoid. Um, so there's no real collisions, right? But basically, once um, if if you know the when it's trying to avoid, right, and it goes down, right, you know, towards the planet, right, uh, a repulsive force will actually push it upwards. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's fly around the carrier. Alright, so now what's going to happen, right? This uh, the red color leader, right, is actually going to orbit around the carrier. Uh, and the wingman are actually going to like lock on one after another behind. So oh god, I love this. So the last two wingmen right are actually sort of oscillating. They are like you know overshooting the targeted position, then you know uh, lagging behind, overshooting again. Um, I've I, I've done some experiments in uh, another file, right? It's uh, if if I actually added some uh, decelerative braking, when uh, the predicted um, uh, position, right, will actually overshoot the wanted position, it seems to work. Um, but probably need more testing before I you know do more. And all right, the next one is actually to land all our dear. Why is it always going behind the spaceship? Right, so and there we go. All right, let's bring up the Unity thing. All right, um, so this is the Unity setup. Um, I must say, you don't want spear as this planet toy, and you know this. All right, so let's play. All right, so ready for launch. Click. So you can see the individual fighters are launching. I also put some you know print statements just to tell what's going on with um video fighters. So for a start, right, we actually launch um launch the fighters and then have them do this uh, wandering thing. The launch right is basically um it's, it's just uh, taking uh, the vector of um you know this vector which is x and using it as the velocity and uh, just launching it out there and uh, after two seconds there's a core routine that tells them hey stop doing that and go into the you know the behavior thing so um, the behavior we have here right, is a combination of three behaviors um, there's this wonder behavior which actually gives all this uh, you know this nice random motion but um, wonder on its own right won't um, you know won't, won't make all the spaceship like orbit a certain thing so um, two other behaviors are used. One is seek. The seek behavior, right, basically moves, uh, you know, uh, you know, the AI or whatever, from uh, you know towards a position. 
So this is what I'm doing to make sure that you know all our um, spaceship are actually moving in the area around the carrier. But obviously, if you seek right, it will just go straight into the carrier and go through, and you start to oscillate. That's not what we want. Not what what I want, anyways. Um, so there's another behavior, right? Um, I think I call it evade. Come on in. Yeah, but basically, once um, it goes within a certain distance of uh, the carrier, it will actually apply a repulsive force, pushing it away from the carrier. So there's no real collisions, but you um, can see, right, if it's going near and you know, they just suddenly like veer off away, there's actually a, a, a sphere around here with a, not a real sphere, it's just a, you know, a distance basically, which is, uh, it tells that, you know, oh, within this distance, it goes this way, you know, it, will, it just evades. Alright, so let's go to the next um, stage. So, formation flying around the planet. Blah, blah. Alright, so basically, right, uh, what we have here is, you know, the lead fighter is um, going around the orbit. And the lead fighter actually has, like, you know, several positions around here. So, the positions, right, are what the wing man, wing woman, wing... Things uh, tend to lock onto and move around. All right. So um, the the thing here is right. Um, the the leader right is just falling here, and uh, the rest of them are locking onto the positions right. But we can't actually use uh, the seat command because the seat command will actually reach the wanted position and overshoot. So that's not ideal. What um, we are actually using this um, behavior called arrive. Arrive actually decelerates um, your drone, your spaceship, you know, and uh, you know makes it slowly arrive at the target point, which is what's giving us this nice behavior here. All right, and uh, all right, that's fine. Let's go to the next one. Uh, next one is orbiting the planet. So, you know, at this stage, right, all of the individual craft, right, are, are just basically going to you know pick paths around the planet. So this orbiting around the planet, right, is actually um, based off the, um, the wall following example that Craig Reno had on his website. Um, let's pause this. So uh, um, his, his example was uh, really straightforward and easy to understand. It's, um, say for this leader here, right, you know, you have uh, the velocity vector. So you just project, um, normalize the velocity vector and, uh, you know, project it at a point like, you know, few units ahead of um, the object and from that point right um, uh, shoot a ray to you know the object that you want to hover around and where the ray hits right um, you know draw uh, no you know the hit point and the normal and the distance right the end here right this is where your uh, spaceship drone whatever targets for you know the orbiting, so that's how the orbiting works. Ta da! I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in a uh, somewhere so that you know it will be easier to reference. All right, so this is the orbiting part. Oh, um, again, right? Um, there's a uh, there's this option called separate. The separate um, behavior, right? Uh, ensures that you know as you can see here. You know they bounce off right so the separate behavior allows uh you know objects that are nearby to each other right to actually separate or avoid each other um doing it here right also has a, a possibility that the object drone void whatever will actually go into the planet because there's no real collisions so again like um the mothership here right once it goes below a certain threshold right um a repulsive force is added to make sure that it doesn't you know go into the planet um if the velocity is too high, it will go through no matter what, but, you know, I think I've tweaked it enough so that it shouldn't. Alright, let's go to the next one, which is some formation flying around the carrier. Alright, so this particular one, right, um, you can see our dear red leader actually just bounce off the imaginary wall, and uh, it's doing its orbiting thing. So actually, there's a where is it? Mm, another orbit, right? So this one is actually another hidden sphere. Um, it's uh, for these, um, you know, ray casting and stuff like that, right? 
I'm actually using uh, Unity's built-in uh, physics engine. Um, so no real RBD stuff, but you know, just doing the ray casting and stuff like that. Um, yep. So it's doing the orbiting thing, and uh, you know, each of uh, each of the craft, right? That's not the leader. Has a uh, you know, a target set. You know, and uh, the rest of them are falling around behind. Again, right? Similarly to the formation flying, this one's using arrive. So yeah. Now one thing about arrive, right? I was testing not only here and uh, another file, right? It tends to sometimes tends to overshoot. Um, you can see, right? Like the first few here are fine, and you know, usually it's the last two that's um, overshooting. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Come on, come on, be good. Okay, anyways, um, so that's I, you know, I mean, I'm still quite new to this, right? So, um, when it's overshooting, right, I've tried stuff that that worked was um, actually just increasing the force from uh, the arrive. It actually helps to stabilize it, or you know, or, or just uh, make the velocity, you know, the clamp the velocity, not clamp the velocity, the maximum speed, right, of uh, the boy, right, make it slower. Um, that doesn't always help. Uh, another thing that I've tried and was quite successful um, is to actually apply a decelerative force when the predicted position actually overshoots the wanted position. Um, that seems to work. Um, what else have I tried? Oh, uh, another thing I've tried, right, is actually applying a drag force. Um, well, it's not really... It's lame, it's just, you know, every update, right, you just multiply the velocity by 0 0.9999 or something like that. So it just slowly decreases and it sometimes helps, sometimes doesn't, but um, probably need more time playing around with this kind of stuff just to get it to work. But this is what's going on. And, um, alright, the final one is the landing. Oops, ah, oh, glad, okay, okay. Um, landing, right, the landing is um, actually sort of um, two-part. The there's actually a landing point here, so basically all the you know all our drones, spacecraft, boys, whatever, will actually move to this point here before entering the carrier here, right? So you know it'll basically use the arrive again, arrive slowly arrive here, then after that arrive again to the carrier. All right, let's see the action. So, dong. So you can see all them slowly arriving at a point. Once they, there's also a bit of um, separation there so that you know they don't collide. Just a red mild hint, and they go into the carrier, and it's ready again for you know. Okay. All right. So this is um, you know what I've been fooling around with um, in Unity and uh, learning all these um, you know steering behaviors. We have fun, and I you know just love seeing all this emergent behavior appear from just a uh, you know just simple forces all right have a good uh, friday rest of the week have a good weekend take care